Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $99,212.63. In the past year I am up $23,696.35. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $7,142.67. It does say that today I'm up over $1,000, but this is the, the pre-market numbers. Uh, realistically, I'm making this video so late, um, but actually today I am down about $1,000. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $81. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $72. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $50. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, zero. I have a target diagonal spread. I bought the target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025. And I'm selling the target $140 call expiring August 30th of this year. My total return, $280. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $8. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $64. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $45. I have McDonald's $210, $200 with credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $870. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,420. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $703. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, zero. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,351. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $177.31. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $23,517.06. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.28. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $9,940.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.50. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,200. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $164.64. 
my average cost $142.48, my total return $2,216. This is a margin account. My margin total is $86,384.51. My margin used is $61,754.73. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,629.78 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $25,328.33. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $11.05. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of interest-free margin. So, I know it says that I'm up today, but the reality is I'm actually up very late making this video. Um, not much to say here. There's nothing expiring at the end of this week, but there are four of my positions expiring. Actually, not four. Five of my positions expiring on the 30th, which is the end of next week. So we'll see what happens next week. I do think that I'm doing okay for now. Um, definitely not at my highs anymore uh, compared to my highs of the year so far, but at least uh, I'm holding around 100k. We'll see what happens. I do plan to close out my target diagonal spread next week. So waiting until next week to, um, you know, get rid of this position so I could free up some money. But this ended up being a winning play up $280 so far. Um, hopefully I can get a $300 profit out of this next week and then close it out. All right, I think that's pretty much it for this uh, portfolio update. I have nothing else to report, but I'll keep on making more updates so you guys stay up to date on what's happening in my portfolio. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will keep on making more of these videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.